Hello, Troria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Forium mod. So, I loaded up the world right now, and uh, for some reason, it has the Queen Bee health bar at the bottom, right? And uh, here's a Queen Bee, right? I have no idea why this happened. Like, not a clue. Like, maybe it was something to do with, like, a particle loaded in and broke. But, uh... I wasn't intended to start today's episode right now. I was going to, like, prep myself. But my god. <laughs> my god. Because I looked at it and I was like, no, wait. A queen bee? I was like, no, that's not right. And I opened my mini-map and it was, like, coming over from over here. I was like, no! I was like, i got to record this. There we go. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Forum mod. You guys left a thousand comments yesterday. A thousand. That's a lot of comments. Dudes. Thank you so much. I spent, like, so long reading through them all, and uh, I really appreciate it, because you guys left me some good tips. Now, I'm going to go over the tips you guys gave me at the start here, so we can talk about what we're going to do next, right? So, one of the biggest tips you guys gave me was, and I think this was numero uno, without a doubt, like, if we were to tally them all up, uh, don't bin the family heirloom, because it gives you one defense, and it's used at the end of the game to make something. So that's exciting. You guys didn't ruin what it was as well, and I appreciate that. That's cool. Um, and then what was the other thing? So, number two is I need to kill the Eye of Cthulhu next to get the blacksmith as soon as possible, because the blacksmith makes an armor fabricator, and then you use that armor fabricator after farming some harpies, and that will give you an awesome set of armor. And then the next thing after that was, I need to make sure that I have a gills potion for when I go to this new aquatic biome. Because it drowns you. That's clever. It's clever that it drowns you. So that was what I got mostly from your tips. A lot of you left like some really advanced tips. And we can obviously like, we can go into that soon. But obviously at this stage of the game, like, really advanced tips, I'm probably not going to remember them just for now. I'll try my best to. I, uh, like I said, I read through loads of comments, so I, I tried my best to, uh, to read as many as possible. I pretty much read them all, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure. You know, I'll make this. People will comment again. I won't have read them. It's sad. It's a sad life. It's a cycle that repeats itself. Anyway, down we go. Let's just jump straight into Terraria. Dude, it feels so good. Like, not going to lie, reading everyone's comments about how hyped they were to see this made me more hyped to play like there are a lot of people out there no 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 okay all right i'm being stupid now there are a lot of people out there that really love the forium mod i didn't know there was such a love for it like i knew that it was a very successful mod and it had been around for a long time and it was one of the bigger mods out there but my god you guys seem to really like it that makes me like not gonna lie like when you play something and you know other people like it kind of makes me excited and if you guys like it i kind of trust you guys because you guys like calamity and calamity was awesome Right, I've left a money pile down there. That was one thing. Somebody pointed that out, so I appreciated the dude who did that. I have to be more observant. I do have a very weak character right now. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of starting trouble, to be honest. I feel like I've kind of set myself up for that, though, in a way. Right, so let's, uh, let's rope down here. Okay, I've got 75 health. Our, uh, obviously our natural regen is going to be uh, pretty bad, isn't it? Because we're obviously we're in expert mode. I don't have any cooked fish or anything. So I'm going to have to get that sorted. It'll be a while before I get the auto fisher set up, though. It'll be a while. Hey, you know what? Somebody left me this tip. I never knew this. So if you hold shift here, it will have torches, right? But if you extend the mouse out, it'll swap to glow sticks so you can actually throw them. So hey, if you left that comment, I really appreciate that as well. I never knew that. I was like, oh, actually, that's so handy. Because I always try and put it on top of water, put my cursor on water, and hope that that does something. Oh, dude, a little, a little hopping spider. Dude, that reminds me of Spelunky. Is that the game? Spelunky with hopping spiders? Where it has the little hopping spiders. That's what it reminds me of, anyway. Spelunky. And that reminds me of my friend Waffles. My friend Waffles used to love Spelunky. That and the Binding of Isaac. He got me into both. Although, to be honest, I don't really play Spelunky that often. I play the Binding of Isaac a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I don't want to... See, I don't want to die too often at the start of this. So I at least want no. Okay, I'll pick up that heart. So I at least want to give you guys a non-cringy death. You know what I mean? Like a non-cringy, non-dying. Yeah, verbal verbal communication is pretty hard. Are these just more leaping spiders? Woo! All right, I am uh, healed up and ready to go. All right, I just think we're gonna have the cave bat problem here. It's just gonna be constant cave bats. What do we do? Do we teleport back? Work on something on the surface? Probably should. Right, I should, probably should work on like some wooden armor at least. But then again, but then again. 
Right, I am going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to put my money away for one because we'll need the money for uh, for the merchant. I purposely didn't build any rooms yet because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So what I'll do is I'll put my money in gems and ores. And I'll put this in here. I've only just managed to start like organizing these chests a little bit. Obviously, like I said, we're going to move them soon. So it'll be a little while. Now, I don't fancy the, the, uh, the snow sand biome. I don't fancy the sand biome because it's currently a blizzard, which means it'll be a, a sandstorm. But you know what? I kind of fancy going this way and seeing if we just find any uh, surface chests. You can find surface chests in the ice biome, right? I'm pretty sure you can. So we'll have a we'll have a little look for that. We'll probably get frozen just walking around, but it'll be good. But yeah, you guys left some really good tips, and not gonna lie, like reading tips is uh pretty fun to be honest, because then you get to test them all out. But yeah, number one priority though is uh is do the Eye of Cthulhu. That was what, that's what, like, when most people were talking about bosses to do next, they said, do the Eye of Cthulhu, do the Grand Thunderbird soon, like, get it done, and uh, make a long platform, make sections at the end of each platform so you can cycle down and miss these uh, sandstorms. That was some more, like, advanced technique and stuff. Yeah, we got some good stuff. Flying fish, man. They're so OP. Flying fish. Right, who'd have funk it, right? First time I saw a flying fish, I was like, oh, dude. They're flying fish now when it rains? I was like, that's clever. I was like, what a nice little effect. You know, give the fish some love. You know, there was goldfish walking around. There's a little flying fish. It was like, awesome. And then they started hitting you. And I'm like, oh, man. Took a different route with this re-logic. I wasn't expecting this jazz. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's do this. Man. Man, it is so hard to make progress at the start of the game. It's so hard, especially when you're uh, when you record like me. Now, is that an open cave? See, I just want to... I just want to actually just get a grip of my world. Do you know what I mean? I actually want to see what's about. You know, I want to know... Well, this way is ice biome. Oh, that was one thing. The uh, the new aquatic biome is only on the jungle side of the uh, ocean biome. So, it's this side then. It's not this side. It's the opposite side. Oh, my God, dude. Okay. Whoa. No. All right. Not not doing that. Not doing that. Let's, uh, let's put a snow block here. Okay. Whoop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's go back then. Let's get out of the blizzard. Because this blizzard ain't doing us any good. Let's get out of here. Whoop. There we go. Great rope placement. And let's smack the hell out of this umbrella slime. So uh, I was speaking yesterday about me, you know, uh, me moving house and all. I'm really excited and stuff. It's all going to be good. Um, it was funny because today I actually spent the day, like, measuring up the house. And I'm so excited for uh, my new office space. It's a little bit bigger than what I've got now. But uh, I had like a good like hour-long conversation with the internet providers as well. And they were like, yes, Mr. Bennett, the uh, the internet, my friend, will be much better than where you live right now. And I'm like, yes. That means we can live stream some stuff. And I'm super excited for that. <laughs> it's just been a good day as a whole, to be honest. But let's go this way. Let's go this way. Like I say, I know we're, um, I know we're not making much progress right now. But uh, I'm trying to get a, a thing. Med medicineite? Medicineite? Let's see. Let's actually check this out. Because I feel like that's a familiar ore name to me. See, Forium works a little bit different than it worked when I first played it. Originally, you used to have to get all your ores from bags because they hadn't figured out how to put ores in the world yet. Now they can do that. Let's see. Um, right, this is going to make ore, isn't it? Medicineite ore? Presumably. Okay, so it makes a Giga Needle for the healer class. Not recommended for squeamish people. Heals all life by 10. Poke an ally with a large needle. A syringe? Okay, so this is for the healer class then. And then a pill. Okay, so that you can throw this and it'll heal people out. So the healing class, I don't know if I went straight into it yesterday if to actually talking about it. But the healer class is like a class f just for multiplayer. Like, you, you play it with a bunch of other people. And your goal is to uh, is to heal people. Kind of like when you play Overwatch, it's like picking a Mercy or a Zenyatta or whatever. And it's kind of like when you play TF2, it's like picking the Medic. You know, or you know, or whatever game. Battlefield as well. They have, you know, they have Medics as well. There's plenty of other games that get it. But yeah, so it's not actually a single player one. Because I saw a lot of people when I mentioned it say, Hey, could you check that out? That'd be cool to see. I think that'd be something where uh, if we got Python on for a day... If we got Python to join us for a day, that'd be really cool just to check out just for an episode. So I'll see if Python's available for that maybe, and I'll see what he's up to, and maybe we can do that because that'd be kind of a cool little uh, that'd be a cool way to bring Python to Chippy's couch, and it'd be a cool way to test it out because then at least with uh, 
we've done it. Because not a lot of people have obviously done that. Because obviously, you know, it's a multiplayer thing. It's a multiplayer thing. So we'll get that sorted. Right, so I'm going to make some cactus armor then. May as well. We're going to make some progress today. And I'm going to die just, you know, going underground for now. At least in the area that we've got. Oh, do you know what? It's raining. I'm going to grab these water leaf. Awesome. Awesome. I can never remember off the top of my head what potions need water leaf. But it's one of the better ones. Okay, now I want to build across from this, but I also don't want to get killed by that slime. Okay, that slime's not going to be able to get back up. But what is... Let's knock this dude off. Okay, there we go. Right. Let's keep knocking these people off. Okay. Oh, dude, you have a... Man, you have reduced knockback. Oh, that's clever. I never knew there were certain zombies that had different types of knockback. I know they all have different range and attack. Dude, that guy looks like such a freak. He's like growing limbs out of his face. He's the ugly zombie. Like, what did he look like in real life? Just messed up? <laughs> I'm guessing just messed up. Man, we have done... We have not done much progress today, and I feel guilty for it. I feel guilty. That queen bee kind of uh, threw me off. Like I said, I was going to get prepared. Right, I'm going to make some platforms. I'm going to go straight over this. It's super dark, but uh, I think... I feel like I have to explore my world a little bit. You know what I mean? I have to get it done. Whoop. There we go. Nice. Star. How many we got now? Two? Okay, so we had a... Oh, there we go. There's three. We had a heart upgrade... Uh, the mana upgrade yesterday. That's good, because if we get any uh, magic weapons, we can uh, go into that. Because obviously in this mod, we're going to have different types of weapons than we did in Calamity. You know, it's going to be a different focus and such. You know, in Calamity, I found that the melee weapons were just really, like, fun to look at. And so I stuck with a lot of melee weapons because they were really fun. They shot projectiles out really early on, which kind of made them range more than melee. But in this mod, it's going to be a little bit different, isn't it? We're going to have, like, a few different options and stuff. So I'm not going to limit myself to one class. I never do. Well, I have done in the past, as you guys know. But uh, I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try just have fun with a bunch of stuff. But we'll, we'll pick at one point what we're going to stick with. And it'll probably just we'll go with something that I find fun and that you guys like looking at. You know, you guys have actually already left like a bunch of stuff. What was the one thing you guys said more than anything? I think it was Summoner. Was it Summoner? I believe a lot of you liked Summoner more than most. Or, or Mage. Mages look cool, man. Mages look awesome. <laughs> Mages look cool. Nah, man, we're going to go straight fishing class. <laughs> you laugh, but if you haven't seen it, I did it. <laughs> I did a fishing class. Okay, let's see. Can we uh, barricade ourselves here? All right, good. Good. All right, we're making some progress now because I've actually found something. Hey, a starting chest. You know what? I'll take those grenades, though, buddy. And I'll, you know what? Free iron skin as well. I'll have them. That's super convenient. Thank you very much. Because there are a lot of people out here. What do we do here? Do we, uh... Hmm. Hmm. What do we do? Hmm. God, it's sound like one of those annoying villagers in Minecraft. Hmm. <laughs> Right, okay, it's the end of the night, so they're leaving. Awesome. That's kind of convenient. Nope, they're coming back. Okay. There we go. Nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that. They are supposed to be leaving, right? Are they just are they bored of me or I think they're probably just bored of me. Oh come on, dude. Get out the hole, you little hermit. You know what I mean? Right, we're bailing. We're bailing. Away we go. Away we go. <laughs> right, underground then, I guess. Hey, an icy shard. I remember those. Cold to the touch. They make... Was it frostbite armor? So let's see. They Yeah, they make icy greaves. So they make a, a whole ice class. And then you can make deep freeze coating. Throwing attacks. That was it. Throwing. People love the throwing class. Dude, frost, frost heart elixir. Freezes you in place, but massively increases heart regeneration and defense. Oh, man. So, is this a... So, this is a hard mode alternative. Holiday greetings. Dude! I... Oh, my God, right? So, that activates the Christmas thing. I was going to say... I was meant to say, and I had this prepared. I was going to say, if I was to make a modded item, I would make an item that activates the Christmas event... Or the Halloween event. Because you can only get the cloth ear outfit during Halloween. And that's our official outfit. That's the Chippy Gaming outfit. Oh my god. That was my mod idea. They've taken it from me. 
<laughs> That's so funny though, because honestly, I thought that was like groundbreaking. I was like, yeah, I could make mods. I'm cool. I'm so glad that that's actually a thing, though. How funny, though, man. Like, I actually was going to say it yesterday. I don't know. I completely forgot. But it was when I was making the character, I was like, man, I wish I could just start looking like the, uh, looking like us, you know, like using our outfit, you know, the, the cloth air outfit or the chippy gaming outfit or whatever. You know, it's the unofficial chippy gaming outfit. It, it's the chippy gaming outfit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was, a uh, yeah, oh my god. Thorium. I think I may have just fallen in love with you. Felon? There we go. I've committed a felon. Right, so there's a little thing to the side there. I'm happy about that. Because now we can make some real progress. So let's see. Let's mine some more of this lead. I'm going to mine lead because lead is actually really useful, isn't it? We can make an anvil with it. We can make iron skin throughout the series. You can make a... Uh, oh, we can make a grapple hook. You can make a, uh, a workbench. An advanced workbench. It's all good. It's all good. Grab all this. Nice. Right. I don't know if you guys ever knew this, but I really hate spiked slimes. Like, I actually really don't like them. I think they're uh, way too powerful. Look at me. Always complaining uh, about nerfs and stuff. Look, we're dead. Like, we're, we're in here. We're probably dead. Unless I can keep this knocked back. But that cave bat's going to be a problem as well. Do you think the cave bat's going to kill us? Do you think we die here? What do you guys predict? What do you guys predict? Hey, we won it. Look at that. We won it. Okay, what I'll do is I will uh, I'll mine down into this house here. I'll mine down, and then we can, like, loot it. Man, like I say, yesterday, we come from being, like, a complete, complete, you know, overkilled character, and now look at us. We're, we're weak as oat. Oh, what ore is this? Oh, so a new ore. Okay, so this is thorium ore. Yeah, so when I originally played this, you have to get this from a little bag called, like, a bag of potential. They may still have bags of potential, but it may be different ore now. I'm not too sure. So what is uh what does Thorium ore make then? Let's have a little look. Is it it's just simple as Thorium bars like we've had before? So you can make a Thorium block, a pulse lure. Oh, that's cool. That makes me want to go fishing more. So you can make more so these are anvils and stuff. So you have um you have a Thorium anvil. Oh okay, that's really cool. And then the Thorium bars. You need four for a bar. Okay. And what we were looking at just then, was it an icy shard as well? So we're looking at this icy shard with the holiday greetings. Dude, that makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. So you have a spell book. Oh, dude, there's lots of stuff here. Man, I can see why you guys like throwing as well. There seems to be a lot of throwing. Look at that, nitrogen vial. I feel like I've made that before. I feel like I've seen that one before. It made like a big like puff of, uh, a puff of gas or something like that. Right, let's mine onwards. Let's uh, at least see what's in here for today. Is that some sapphires I see up there as well? That's going to be good. Happy with sapphires. I don't know if uh, gems actually do much in Thorium. So the good thing is, and this is good because I never had this in my original series, but uh, I can actually just look things up, which is super convenient. Right, so an enchanted boomerang. More than happy with that because that's actually a decent upgrade for us. Some flaming arrows. Two gold. I'm happy with that. Some feather fall. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to get rid of these pressure plates. And I'll leave behind... Uh, well, I'm not going to leave behind anything because I actually need all this stuff. And I'll take that. And uh, I heard you guys trolling me yesterday on that uh, on that bird statue thing. I did say that with Calamity. I picked up a bunch of uh, statues and said, hey, we can use these in the future. And I never needed to because uh, we kind of got everything kind of handed to us. So it <laughs> never really mattered. I heard you guys trolling me. <laughs> it was well deserved. Five bombs. And a pressure plate. Sick. Okay, I don't know about this area down here. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Is there anything of uh, interest down here? Because if not, we can actually just teleport out of here. All right. That granite elemental is going to be a problem. Um. Hmm. Let's go and uh, let's go and craft some things. I actually haven't crafted anything today. Woo! It's actually faster to use a recall potion. Isn't that weird? That's such a weird thing. Okay, right, so gems and ores, so we'll put in the medicite, we'll put in the medicite, we'll put in the icy shards, and we'll put in the thorium ore, the lead ore, and then I think that's it for ore, I didn't grab those sapphires, even though I just went, hey, that's a really good thing, <laughs> and uh, let's, let's craft, so I'll grab some stone, and I'll grab some torches, let's see, can I make a furnace straight up now, I can make a furnace, awesome. I can make that cactus armor I wanted to make. 
So I'll make a, uh, I'll make a breastplate. Then I'll make some leggings. And that kind of works out good, because then we look, we look kind of awesome. I like looking awesome. Um, and then what we'll do is, we will try, Arcane Dust. Yeah, this is a thing, isn't it? So let's have a little look at Arcane Dust a second. So Arcane Dust. Now that is used in a in another crafting recipe. So I'm getting a little bit I'm getting a little bit of knowledge from this. So I have I have seen some of this stuff. Okay, arcane dust. You make enchanted amber rings. Bonus is not listed, but it is an effect. Minion damage increased by four. Damage reduction. Oh, dude, these are dude, these are awesome. So an amethyst ring. So what it does is damage taken is reduced by five. Oh wow. Dude, if you're going to play a class, these are awesome. Enchanted shield? That's cool. Oh my god. I know I'm looking at this, and obviously it's going to be like, uh, biased. But, uh, dude, there seems to be like so many, uh, so many things. Oh, I need some pumpkins, man. man. I need some pumpkins, because I need the Halloween event. I want my cloth ear outfit. I want my chippy gaming outfit. There is so much stuff here. Silk leggings. Wow. So that's a summoning thing. Dude, this mod has everything. <laughs> yeah, it seems to balance the game a lot more. If that's the vibes I'm getting at the minute, it seems to like balance out the game. So I need to make uh, another anvil. Actually, you know, what? I'm just gonna take this one. I'm gonna because I wanted to test this anyway. Actually, no, I didn't. I wanted to uh, to actually place this down first and then smelt my lead, and then make an anvil and then try and make a thorium uh, furnace. So I want to try that. So I'll take my. Uh, I'll take my thorium out. I'll take my lead out. Okay. And then I'm going to smelt up some lead. Smelt up uh, that much. Can I can leave myself some. So I'll make an anvil. Place down an anvil. And then let's see. So that little, uh, that little furnace thing. What was that? That was... How much was it that we needed? So we only needed 10 pieces. Ah, so it's an actual... Right, okay. That's me being a moron again. So it's actually an anvil then. So we need this. And then we can make a, uh, a thorium one, I believe. Yeah, so this is the thorium anvil. Kind of looks more like a chandelier, to be honest. But uh, there we go, at least. So you can make a lead shield. Defense increased by one. Maximum life increased by eight. And a band. So a band goes with the, uh, with the gems, right? So we'll make a band. And then we'll make a shield. Okay. So we'll do that. So we've got ourselves a shield. And then let's take out some uh, let's take out some topaz because we can now make a. Let me actually check. So what's this? Throwing damage increased by two, right? And you only actually need one piece, so that isn't bad at all. But what I'll do is I'll make a topaz hook, even though it's not amazing. I'll still make one, and then I will bin. I'll bin this one piece of mud, sort that out, and then I want to check what these other gems do. So this one's emerald, and then I'll put some um, <laughs> I'll put some lead in there. And I'll take one amethyst as well. So then we'll have a little look at this. So damage taken is reduced by two. Range damage is increased by two. I'm going to make the emerald band. And then I want to mix it with some magic dust. Some arcane dust. So can I make any more of that or did I use all of that? So arcane dust. I think I might have used it all. What did it use? It used the Falling Star, right? And then we didn't have any more because I already used it. Okay. Okay. So I need 15 of that. So I'll need two more uh, two more Fallen Stars. And then tomorrow we can get working on that. But tomorrow I'll make some good progress. Today is, uh, yeah, just wanting to explore. Get my bearings a little bit. I'm pretty happy with what we learned today. Right, so that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's really cool to read all your comments. And you guys being excited about it makes me excited. Because Thorium seems so balanced, man. And it's going to be fun to uh, to experiment with all that. And we'll do some experimenting in this series. Like, we won't be tied down. We'll try and do as much as we can. And we'll make it as fun as we did with Calamity. Right, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Peace.